Hey everyone, this is Greg again making a video on liver health. This is some of the most important information that I have come across in all the years that I have been in the nutritional supplement industry. Um, and I guess it took my own liver crisis in 2020 when I was battling metastatic melanoma to have my eyes open to the point where every single person that I can think of needs to take care of their liver. And it doesn't matter whether you have cancer or not. But if you do have cancer, you definitely need to focus on your liver. And every single person that is undergoing cancer therapy, whether it's chemotherapy or immunotherapy or radiation or drugs, it doesn't matter. Guess what? All of that stuff has to be filtered and processed through your liver. If you don't take care of your liver, you're going to end up dying. That's just the reality. I'm not trying to preach death over anybody, but I'm trying to wake people up to let them know that if you want health, you have to do the right things. You have to take the right supplements that are going to restore your liver and protect your liver. I listed so many different things that are causing liver issues that um, I could make an, a two-hour video on each different topic. It's not going to work if you don't take lifestyle changes. Liver detoxification and liver cleansing is something you need to do regularly for the rest of your life life. And how many people even check their liver? This is a, an extremely important statement to make. Go get your liver checked out. Every single person alive should get periodic liver testing done. And it's very simple to do. You can go to Walgreens. You can go to CVS. You can go to a lot of different walk-in places. You could just go get the blood drawn, have your liver enzymes checked, have some other uh, things tested to see what's going on and get a reading on it. It happened to me. I saw what was going on with my liver. My liver was near fatal last year. My liver enzymes were so high off the charts because of taking immunotherapy cancer treatments. It almost wiped me out. In fact, they told me I was going to lose my liver and to go see a liver specialist. And they talked about doing a liver transplant. Thank God it didn't happen. But I am a liver specialist now as far as trying to wake people up because it was the nutritional supplements it was the avoidance of all the things that i know are causing liver issues that helped me save my liver and allow me to have an extended life and i don't have cancer anymore either you wonder why the u.s government says over 30 percent of the u.s population has nafld which stands for non-alcoholic fatty liver disease that's over 100 million Americans. It's probably even higher than that. If you were able to do some kind of a test on people to see, you'd be, sh you'd be shocked. You'd be shocked. I'm not trying to be fatalistic, but what I'm telling you is so many people are overweight. So many people are sick. America is one of the sickest countries in the world. We lead the world in our pharmaceutical consumption because so many people are linked to having different health issues, liver problems, detox problems, uh, uh, stomach issues. In fact, 76% of the population that they've studied and asked questions about suffers with digestive related disorders. They're all connected. So I don't want to just focus on the liver, but for this video, I want to just focus on the liver. I'll get into some of the other things as well from the lymphatic system to the digestive system. They're all connected. But for the liver, listen, we sell a lot of different herbal supplements. We sell the best herbal supplements that you can find in the world. We're working with a company out of New Mexico um, called Vitality Works. They make a whole bunch of herbal supplements and they make our liver detox product. If you can see that, there's liver detox. Liver detox contains organ grape root, milk thistle, seed and extract, yellow dock root, dandelion root, burdock root, and red root. That alone, just taking this, and I don't say cycle it, take it probably daily or almost every day for the rest of your life. If you want to cycle it, use it for a while and then go off of it and then go back on it. But you have to keep focusing on purifying and protecting your liver or else you're never going to make it. You will not live a long, healthy life with everything the enemy has put out there in this world to try and take us out. Uh, milk thistles in that product, but we also sell milk, milk thistles separately. You can take milk thistle. Dandelions, another phenomenal herbal product. I mean, you can go out in the, in the springtime and in the summer and see all kinds of dandelions on the grass. Well, dandelions, one of the best things you can take for your liver. It's in this product, but you can also increase the dosages and take more. So hopefully you'll listen to this information and hopefully this will help some people start taking some precautionary measures and implementing things that will help restore, prepare, uh, that will help restore their liver 
and protect their liver and allow them to live a longer, healthier life. And I could tell you this right now, if you take care of your liver, it is going to help your weight loss program. It is going to help balance your weight. One of the biggest causes and reasons why so many people are out of shape, overweight, have obesity and stomach issues is because their livers are toxic. Their livers are sick. And I don't care if you don't drink alcohol. You, your liver might be worse off because you're not drinking alcohol. I'm not saying drinking alcohol makes your liver better. But what I'm saying is so many people don't drink and they eat horrible. They're doing a lot of these things that I'm talking about that are landmines. And they don't ever think they have liver issues because they think, well, I don't drink. I'm healthy. No, you're not. No, you're not. Listen, here's a couple of articles to show you just a snippet of what I can actually talk about with liver health. All right, here's one article. This is, uh, this is from the USNIH, and everybody probably knows the USNIH now because Dr. Anthony Fauci works over there. He's the head of the NIH. I'm not saying this article has anything to do with Fauci, but hopefully by now a lot of people realize the NIH is one of the biggest government agencies in the United States, and they show you that drinking diet soda and a lot of soda is one of the big causes of fatty liver disease. So listen, background, little is known about dietary habits and their relationship with liver disease. Let me enlarge this a little bit so you can see it better. Okay, uh, to assess the association between soft drink consumption and the presence of fatty liver and NAFLD, patients who do not have classic risk factors. I'm not going to read all this. You can look up all this stuff yourself. But basically, go down to conclusion, the present study may add important insight into the role of sugar-sweetened beverage consumption as a cause of fatty liver in patients without risk factors. Patients are encouraged to change their long-standing drinking behavior. Anybody drinking diet soda, you're killing yourself. Diet soda is a complete waste of time. It's a complete waste of money. It's a complete waste on your health. It's one of the biggest lies going. Oh, I'm going to drink diet soda because I'm overweight and somehow diet soda is going to make me not have so many calories, so I'm going to lose weight. Guess what? That's a scam. It's not going to work. Diet soda is going to make you crave more food. It's going to make you crave more garbage. And it's not going to do anything that's going to help you lose weight. And it's going to also toxify your liver and cause liver issues. Nobody should be drinking diet soda. It should be banned by the government. Instead, people drink it by the drove and they think, oh, I'm good. I'm, I'm drinking diet soda now as I'm trying to lose weight. It's all a scam. Anyway, let me pick up on some other articles. So here's another one. This is from PubMed. This is another US NIH story. Revisiting the safety of aspartame. Again, I don't have time to read all this in, in exact detail, but just to, just to touch on it, aspartame is a synthetic dipeptide artificial sweetener frequently used in foods, medications, and beverages, notably carbonated and powdered soft drinks. Since 1981, when aspartame was first approved by the FDA, researchers have debated both its recommended safe dosage and its general safety to organ systems. Guess what? There are problems. Listen to what it says here. It says at the end, the existing animal studies and the limited human studies suggested aspartame and its metabolites, whether consumed in quantities significantly higher than the recommended safe dosage or within recommended safe levels, may disrupt the oxidant, antioxidant balance, induce oxi oxidative stress, and damage cell membrane integrity potentially affecting a variety of cells and tissues and causing a, de a deregulation of cellular function, ultimately leading to systemic inflammation. Wow, that's great. Give me some diet soda, guys. I need to lose weight. Oh, it's so good for you. This is just an insult. It really is. It's ridiculous. Here's another one. The effect of long-term intake of aspartame on antioxidant defense status in liver. No, more garbage here. I don't want to read it all. Again, this is another NIH study. This is coming right from our U.S. government, but they don't do anything to take this stuff off the market. Here, um, this one says glutathione was significantly decreased in both the experimental groups. Histopathological examination revealed leukocyte infiltration in aspartame-treated rats. It can be concluded from these observations that long-term consumption of aspartame leads to 
hepatocellular injury and alterations in liver antioxidant status, mainly through glutathione dependent system. Well, guess what, people? Glutathione is the main control system for your entire immune system. Glutathione is the master regulator of your immune system. So, gee, let me go drink a bunch of diet soda because it's going to help me lose weight, which it won't. Because show me all the people who lost all this weight on diet soda. They don't. Okay. Most people that drink diet soda gain weight. And then it's going to affect your immune system. Really? So all this stuff going on in the world is a time for us to really go drink more diet soda because that's going to help my immune system. No, it's not. It's going to affect glutathione, which you need to protect your immune system. And so here's another article. Long-term soft drink and aspartame, aspartame intake induces hepatic damage via dysregulation of uh, adipocytokines and alteration of the lipid profile and antioxidant status. Again, I can't get into all of this, but they're telling you here as well that it affects the liver. It affects the immune system. This stuff is toxic. It's toxic. So thank you for watching. Again, this is just aspartame that I'm talking about with liver health, which leads to the diet soda and a lot of other things. Why do you want to have a destructive liver? Why do you want to lose your liver? Go get it checked out and start getting off of all this stuff that you know is causing these problems. And best case scenario, start taking this liver detox. You can buy it on Amazon. If you're a Prime member, you can get it fast with free shipping. Or you can get it from our main website, sevenlightshealth.com. That's the number seven. And then lightshealth.com. You can also get the milk thistle and the dandelion. I take them all. I take them all regularly. I do not drink alcohol anymore. After I got diagnosed with metastatic melanoma in 2019 and started cancer treatments in 2020, um, I stopped drinking all alcoholic beverages. And after I almost lost my liver because of the cancer treatments, I had to uh, totally focus on liver health to get my liver restored, which I did. My liver is back to normal now. I went from a near fatal diagnosis with my liver to having a perfectly healthy liver right now. But I know I need to do everything. All these things I talked about, the bullet points, the landmines, I watch all of them. I don't participate in all this stuff. I do the best I can to try to avoid it. So hopefully you will too as well. Thank you for watching. I appreciate your time. I, I have so many more videos I'll be talking about with this liver issue. But spread the word and start taking it and wake as many people up as you know what's going on. Thank you for watching.